what you say now Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down Then you do not have to pretend What's good everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing a start to finish install on this straight frontal wig from Nadula Hair Company. It is 24 inches and it was pre-plucked and bleached by me. So this is not how it comes straight out of the box and also this is the texture once it's air dried. But let's get right into our tutorial. So now I'm going in and I am tinting the lace with my foundation. This was an HD lace frontal. But for all my wigs, HD, light brown, transparent, I always tint with my foundation. That is the exact shade of my skin tone so I can get a perfect match. I'm just going in my blow dryer to help, you know, set that foundation and set that tint. Because you don't want to be, you know, mixing the glue in the wet foundation. It gets super, super messy. As far as like bald cap method or wig cap and what I wear under my wigs, I just have a standard black wig cap and I just have this on to help protect my braids. But I do go ahead and push this wig cap more further back so that way the wig cap is not showing under my wig. I don't do bald cap for any of that. I feel like bald cap really helps more for um, when you're using glue, like actual lace glue to help protect your edges. But since I'm just using a glueless method, no need for all of that. Here I'm just doing some lace prep. I'm cutting the side tabs so I can get a perfect fit around my ears. And I'm also going in and cutting the lace into sections, which just makes gluing and all that much more easier when you're working sections. For my adhesive, I am using Ebon Lace Spray. This is a glueless spray. It's more like a hairspray, but it's marked and targeted towards actual wigs, not just like hair. I like using this because I feel like it dries fast. I do get a bit of a longer hold with it, like probably one to two days, but I wear my wigs. I don't wear my wigs overnight. I take them off at night, but I've heard of people say that it can last them to one to two extra days. I would say it's water resistant, not waterproof. So if you wear it in the shower and you get the lace wet, it will lift. If you sweat heavy, she will lift. But I can wear this to the club and dance and get real hot and sweaty and my wig is not coming off at night. You get me? So. For the spraying up process, I went ahead and just try to spray as close to my hairline as I can, like the wig hairline. I'm not spraying the hair onto the actual, I'm not spraying the hairspray onto the hair. I'm just spraying it onto like the edge of the hairline. And once I've sprayed it in that section, I go in my blow dryer on a cool setting and I just start to use a rat tail comb or something flat to help me really push and melt down that specific area of the lace. Once I've made sure everything is nice and dry and sticky, I'm going in with my um, razor comb and I prefer to use a razor instead of actual scissors to cut off my lace and I just use this carefully to cut the hair and using this razor helps give you a nice jagged hairline, which is more better than having a straight hairline because when your hairline has like bumps and grooves, not just straight across your head. So using a razor gives you more of a jagged look, which just let the lay lace more naturally on your head. My sideburns always have a hard time laying perfectly on my first try. It's okay, it doesn't stick exactly on your first attempt. You can go ahead and just try it again even after you cut the lace. What I like to do to help make sure my sideburns are nice and anchored down is I pull out the baby hairs and I push the lace into the glue and everything and just pull the baby hairs down. This kind of really helps me make sure that I'm you know, getting my sides nice and stuck. You can do this for across the whole head if you like, but I've gotten better at like getting everywhere else to stick so I don't have to do this everywhere I just do this on the side because you know this just helps it lay down a lot more so I'm going to go ahead and repeat these steps all over my head I'm going to stop talking so you can just watch what I'm doing and I'll come back when it's time for the next few steps I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, but I 
my night time. I never listen now. I should have figured though. All that shit you was spitting so unoriginal. But it was you, so I was with it. Then to tell you the truth, which we never did it. Cause I Alright, so I've got the lace nice and stuck all over my head, but to ensure that everything is nice and stuck, we don't want any lifting, I'm using an elastic band just to help hold everything down and just tie the lace down. While the lace is just finishing up drying and, you know, doing its melting, I'm going to go ahead and start carving out my part. This wig did not have that much side part to really work with, so I was kind of having a bit of a hard time to figure out how I wanted to get my part, because I do like a good deep side part, but this wig wasn't giving too much side deep side part room, so I had to like, you know, finesse it the best that I could. While I am carving out my part to really ensure that everything is nice and flat, I'm getting a hot comb that is on a very high heat. I believe my hot comb was like on 500 degrees. She was hot. And then I use a wax stick as well to just really help press everything down and just, you know, deal with the flyaways and all of that. Just really help everything melt. One thing that I've been doing these days to really make my installs look super professional and like salon done is instead of just flattening the part area with my hot comb, I section like section by section and start to flatten every part of the actual frontal area. This part is tedious, like literally takes me like 20 minutes to do this because you got to make sure you're going in section by section, but promise you guys, the lace looks so nice and flat, like it's just like growing out of your scalp. So take your time, literally taking your time and being more detailed on certain steps really helps improve how professional and clean looking your frontal or closure install comes out. And you do not have to pretend like there is no way out. I said I'll never let you in. Cause you got me face down. And don't take this personal. The words, you know what you've done to me. And although it hurts, I know. I just can't keep running away. Now 
now that I'm done pressing everything out and getting it nice and flat, as y'all can see, she's flat. Like, it's already looking melted, but it's time to do the baby hair. So I'm just going in and pulling out some more hairs to, you know, help me carve out my baby hairs. And for baby hairs, I always just like to save a lot of inspiration on Instagram and Pinterest so I can kind of see how people that I like, how they do their hair, does it and just try to mimic the way that I see it. So saving pictures on Pinterest and Instagram and using them as reference when you're actually installing really helps you to kind of like figure out what you're doing in my opinion. So for my baby hairs, I am using this little eyebrow, not eyebrow, hair comb brazier to just help me cut the hair in a diagonal way. And just like how I like to use a razor to cut off my lace, using this razor comb instead of scissors to cut your baby hairs gives them a more jagged rough look, which just helps them lay more, I don't know, just look better when I cut them with that instead of using a regular scissors. For my baby hairs to lay them down, I'm using my Eco Styler gel. I prefer to use Eco Styler to anything else because I just feel like I get more movement with the baby hairs. Like it lays them down without letting them become too hard and too um, too stiff. Because I used to use what's it called Got to Be, but I found that Got to Be made my baby hairs too stiff. And whenever I'm trying to like correct anything or just move things, it would not move, which is great. But sometimes you want to move your baby hairs around, okay? But you can use whatever you like. I, I've used mousse, I've used got to be, I've used edge control. They all work. It's just about finding what works best for you. So try everything. But now I'm just going in and swooping my baby hairs. I don't really have any rhyme or reason on how I do them. It's just kind of, I don't know, second nature at this point. But for me, I prefer to do big baby hairs, but a minimal amount. So I usually do about four to three, sometimes just two, like, I don't like having too many, but the ones that I do, I like them to be nice and big. If you don't like baby hairs, then don't do baby hairs. If you like 10 baby hairs, then do 10. It's all about your preference. Whatever you like, do it, girl. Hi. What did I just say? Baby hairs have been laid going in again with that elastic band to help just set those baby hairs and also to help tie down the lace while we go ahead and start, you know, doing the styling portion. So now I'm just going in and cutting the hair and layering it up. This was 24 inches and the hair was very nice and thick, which I really enjoyed. But whenever I'm doing my hair for curly, straight, whatever texture, I always just give the ends a blunt cut because I find the ends usually look kind of like thin or just kind of dry and process. So I always cut the ends of everything. Once I've went ahead and cut the ends into a nice thick blunt cut, I'm going in with that same razor comb and just starting to cut in my layers. And I just drag the razor comb in a diagonal motion to kind of, you know, get some easy flowing face framing layers. Some of you might be thinking, what's the purpose of layers? Do I have to put layers? No, you don't have to put layers in your hair. You can literally just wear it as is. I know some people get scared to cut their hair because, you know, you do pay money for these lengths. But I feel like layers just kind of really help frame your face and gives the hair more movement and body. Especially, you're going to be curling the hair. Curls just kind of flow way better when there's layers in it. So, keep that in mind.
for my styling, since this was body wave hair, I wanted to go ahead and put some curls in it because I find body wave hair always holds a way better curl than actual straight hair. I'm using some of this Chi Silk Serum Spray, linked down below, to help add as heat protectant and also helps give shine and body to the hair. I'm using my one inch flat iron to help me create these curls. I prefer doing flat iron curls. I feel like they're just like super beginner friendly and just way more faster than using a curling wand. So once I curl the hair, I also pin them up to kind of help them cool. I also find that curling the hair and pinning it up and letting them cool before you brush them out really helps the curls last longer. Okay, now it's time to take these curls down and y'all see that little bounce like I love doing flat iron curls I feel like your curls will come out a lot better if you curl it on a wig head curling on your own head Well for me at least gets a little bit hard because sometimes I end up curling the hair in the wrong Direction I try to curl all the hair going back for this style because I kind of wanted that look But some of them end up curling towards the front, but it's okay I try to use my fingers you see right here to just like twist some of them back to manipulate them a little bit Once I've taken down all my curls, I didn't want to automatically brush through the curls. I kind of wanted to shake them up a little bit. So I went ahead and just did a little, you know, quick white girl hair flip to get the curls a little loose without having to, you know, brush them through. And you could really just leave it like this and just kind of brush it a little bit to clean up the look. But I kind of wanted them to be a little bit more loose. So I went ahead and used a wide tooth comb. I always feel like brushing the curls out immediately kind of makes them drop too fast too soon. So I always like to comb it out and then I can brush if I feel like I want a more looser look. So here I am, you know, just brushing it out and just using my hand and the comb to back comb everything to kind of just frame it the way that I wanted it to frame. Now I'm just using my hot comb to help press out the roots to make it flat some more. I'm also using the hot comb on the curls to kind of just shape it. A lot of the rest of this is really just shaping the curls and playing with it onto looks the way that I look. So yeah, that's really kind of it as far as the styling process goes. I just keep, you know, tweaking the hair, cutting more layers to get the curls to fall how I want it to fall. Just to do some extra cleaning up, I'm going in with a light concealer shade and just putting that in the part. This really helps the part be more dramatic and emphasized and I feel like it just looks more professional whenever I do this. I always use like a lighter shade, like it's about like three shades lighter than me and I, I'm always scared it's gonna come out too bright, but as long as you blend it in like I'm doing right now with my little 
brush it looks just fine I'm also using some black eyeliner to kind of clean up all the parts that are over bleached and just make everything look more finished and I also use this to clean up any like over plucking that I did I wanted the hair to have more volume so I did one more little white girl hair toss and as you can see now the hair is way big and I just I prefer it a lot like this like it just looks super cute it's giving you know very I don't know 80s 90s whatever era blowout type of a look but yeah that is all that I have for this install that's how I get my hair to look you know salon done professionally did I'm definitely still you know working on my technique and every day I'm getting better it's about just you know taking your time and being detailed and being intentional with how you're installing your hair trust me y'all i've come a long way like if you've been watching me for a minute my videos they weren't giving but now i've been giving and i can't wait to see how like bomb i get the more that i keep doing this but yeah let me stop rambling thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was informational i hope you learned something i hope you just enjoyed the video in general but I'll see you guys in another one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, Girl Scouts.